Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the about a little bit about materialism and how it kind of lost its appeal, and it's kind of very exhausting keeping up with the Joneses, or it's actually pretty exhausting keeping up with um, so many upgradable things, especially vehicles and laws that kind of uh, take money out of your wallet. Now, the more you have, the more it costs to maintain those things. And in this example, I want to talk about vehicles. You know, you see people um, driving with brand new cars and all that stuff. I have a brand, I had a brand new car and I refused to pay for it because it was breaking down after two or three years. Um, and I never felt like uh, what I was paying for it was worth it. And I've bought one of the cheapest cars you could possibly buy. Um, most things that are built now are not really made to last. And I'm not even envious of people with new cars the the one thing about me is that I've only have to try something once and then I am done with it. I have a used vehicle now um, and I just uh, having a used vehicle has always worked out better for me than having a brand new vehicle. Now this is not about a this is not about having owning a brand new vehicles or anything like that. What this is more about is how much it costs to have and maintain nice things. Now, if you have a small house, a small apartment, it's going to cost you less to maintain and keep up uh, maintaining that home <clears throat> um, compared to a five bedroom home. Right now where I live, my house is a three bedroom house and I have a front yard and I have a backyard. And maintaining that house is very, very expensive. And a lot of things that uh, people do not, uh, do not, um, I really do not hear anybody preparing nobody about these certain things about owning a house or the ownership of house houses. You always hear people on the on the internet or social media talking about how they just bought a house and they are boasting about it as if uh, owning a house is a great thing. Having a house has its benefits. And uh, I much rather live in a house than an apartment. Um, but in all reality, what they don't teach you about owning a house is that whatever the house cost, let's say you, I'm in California in Los Angeles County. Owning a house costs just as much as the house is worth in 30 years, every 30 years. Well, maybe not 30 years. But yeah, in around 30 years, you're going to be spending around $200,000 in maintenance, in, uh, in fixing, remodeling, in repairs uh, to plumbing, electrical, uh, roofing, uh, foundation, um, infestation. A lot of people don't talk about infestation in a home. You need to have uh, your home built uh, properly. Uh, to keep rodents away because rodents love to live in certain uh, burrows in your house and depending on where you buy your property if you buy your property in um, next to a sewer which my house happens to be next to a sewer system um, you get lots of rodents and I'm talking about all kinds of rodents like um, what are those things called um, raccoons and possums 
rats, cockroaches, all that crap comes from the sewer. And um, you have to keep them away. Also, you have mosquitoes, fleas that you have to spray your house with. So owning things, do not be jealous of people that have houses and that have nice cars and stuff like that because owning things cost a lot of money to maintain. Now there's douchebags in the comments that say, well, if you can't afford it, don't buy it. No one can afford it. No one can afford to buy these things because they do not make them affordable for anyone. This is why people mortgage a house for 30 to 40 years and it usually ends up uh, to pay off a house, it usually takes you 60 years of labor to pay off a house that you've mortgaged for only 30 years. People don't buy houses and not that many people make money off of housing and real estate. All that crap is a bunch of lies. Um, but back to an automobile, just to a car, just to, um, just to tell you how much it costs to have a brand new car. I've had a brand new car and the payment was 500, no, payment was $450 was not even that much in a month. It was a nice car, brand new, uh, year, the year that it came out. And you think, oh, it's $450 a month, that's nice, that's it. No, it's insurance was $160 a month. And then you still have to pay for maintenance. Tires were actually like $120 and I had to change the tires at least, uh, the sets of tires at least twice through the life of the car. And then there's oil changes. Oil changes for a brand new car is around $90. And then your tune up is around $160. But that's like every year or so. But every one or two years, you have to uh, change the tires and the tires are getting more expensive. It's almost $400, $500 for the set of tires. Plus, you have to always constantly pay gas uh, to use it because it does not run on unlimited power for free. So having a brand new car is nice, but if you have a really nice car that can go far, you're going to go far to far places and that's going to cost more money. Now, if you have a little junker or you have a little used car that can't really go far, then you're kind of trapped in your little city or you're trapped to uh, not go traveling as much. When I had my brand new car, I would be traveling from Los Angeles to San Diego to Los Angeles to uh, Las Vegas to San Francisco. Uh, <clears throat> and all that crap was expensive. Now I thought it was good because I had a brand new car and all I had to do was pay the gas. And uh, the gas from from Los Angeles to Las Vegas is $150. So that's a $150 trip there and there. And <clears throat> when you're traveling to places, you're not there just to stare at a wall. You're there to buy drinks and all that stuff. So you get you really start to spend a lot of money when you have a really nice car. Um, and you also attract the wrong type of attention. So I'm going to get more into detail in, a, in another video about uh, having a brand new car or having nice things. It's not all that great. There are pros and cons to everything. It has a lot of pros to having brand new car, having a home, but there are also cons and expenses that people do not talk about. Now expenses is Expenses are fine if you have infinite amount of money, but in reality, we do not have an infinite amount of money. We only make so much and you cannot control how much you make. So I'll, I'll talk about that more in another video if you're interested. Uh, and yeah, that's all I basically wanted to share right now. Thank you.